so hello viewers today i demonstrate business year solution updated version in this version we have incorporated new features uh, like new module warehouse module so in the warehouse module uh, you can transfer item one warehouse to another warehouse so let me log in so if i log in into the system so basically we have updated the ui and also the complete warehouse module so if i go to the warehouse then we have listed a warehouse just demo data and you can transfer one warehouse to another warehouse also you can see the item warehouse wise item and here is the warehouse white item uh, warehouse wise item we have total item 32s and quantity is 5000 over and as a general user uh, one warehouse anyone can request item let's say warehouse one require required 100 new items so warehouse one can request to the warehouse two and also you can see the item request transfer log from one house to another warehouse and we have implemented a notification a real-time notification using signaler so you can check the real-time notification and also make us read so this is the new uh, module overview so let me uh, give you the real uh, demo by adding one by one i'm adding the new warehouse uh, like uh, test um, warehouse description is dvd so new warehouse created and test warehouse if we go to the warehouse wise item then we don't have any item in the test warehouse so i'm going to add request new item for test warehouse and uh, here is the request item name let's say um, which which item have uh, uh, available quantities higher let's say this item have available quantity three four five so let's say 100 items and test warehouse dvd notes so item request has been created from uh, test warehouse to some warehouse so which have uh, coca-cola is more than 300 plus so as an admin user can transfer if i if i click the transfer and then uh, requested is 500 is uh, and you can change the request uh, 100 to like 400 if it is uh, cross the stock then you will get a warning message so you cannot transfer more than available items so i'm going back to the 100 again and reason of transfer you can add your reason of transfer note here i'm putting just tbd so transfer so transfer item successfully and uh, new item is 100 uh, request item is 100 and uh, to send uh, successfully and uh, item transfer request log we can see the log here so 100 item has been transferred successfully and if we go to the notification also we can check the notification now we'll check so we have a notification 100 new item transfer from uh, warehouse uh, dhaka bangladesh to test warehouse and if we go back to the uh, warehouse wise item then we can uh, have a new uh, warehouse which have one uh, item and quantity is 100 and if we uh, cross check uh, the item uh, history then we can uh, also check the previous item was 300 something now is 200 something for uh, that item because uh, that warehouse uh, uh, warehouse uh, but Hakka Bangladesh to uh, transfer in, in test warehouse so this is uh, the summary of uh, item transfer from warehouse to warehouse so you can create new warehouse you can request uh, item request and check the item transfer log and also the notification which is real time and additionally we have implemented uh, like uh, single warehouse transfer single item transfer also the multiple multiple item transfer so if i go to the uh, single uh, item transfer we already did it and if we go to the multiple item transfer then we have to just add i'm just adding the test item uh, let's say ferris france and one one tbd 
add items and let me select olive oil and I will quantity is 33 and I'm just putting 115 and just not reach DVD add item warehouse to warehouse is record bar in Germany add item so I'm selecting another item that uh, have uh, available quantities higher let's say <coughs> milk and transferring from Chittagong, California USA turn quantity is uh, 50 and region of transfer DVD add item so I have added three different item uh, from warehouse to a warehouse also the quantity reason you can add the reason and if uh, mistakenly you, you added the new item then you can remove as well so once you click the transfer all then it will automatically transfer from source to warehouse to destination warehouse so I just clicking the transfer all now so three item has been successfully transferred also our warehouse was item a list this is the summary updated successfully so we have 35 uh, different item and uh, quantity is 5000 over and Dhaka Bangladesh is 25 let me just uh, Chittagong as one California Paris and test, uh, test warehouse have one so we have uh, done uh, the single item transfer from source to destination warehouse also we have uh, performed the multiple item transfer from source to destination and you can check the uh, stock so we have uh, item management here we can check the items so we have uh, 35 items and in the in the item you can add the quantity edit item add new item uh, by warehouse so in this uh, new uh, update we have incorporate new feature like you can add multiple incorporate multiple item using csv so i'm going to demonstrate so if uh, just you have to click the add bulk item and here is the default pa path file of data you have to customize data or csv file so once you customize uh, once you import the uh, manually type the data with uh, for proper by following the for proper format then it will the system will import uh, bulk item you can import hundred or five thousand or more than uh, item you can add into the system so I already added uh, like uh, 10 items so let me uh, give you the data let me show you the uh, structure CSP data item so that you can get the clear overview So here is the bulk item uh, data CSV file. If I going to open it, then we can have the sample data, just test data. So you have to um, you have to you have to add uh, with the proper uh, ID, code number, name. I just put a uh, test data, and here is the date. Uh, manufactured data expired. I'm just closing. So we have a 10 test item, and if I click the add bulk item, then hopefully, uh, currently we have 30 item. It will be 45 item. So 10 item has been added successfully. Okay. So system is refreshed automatically with the uh, Ajax uh, Ajax call. So we have 30 45 item now, and if we go to the manage warehouse warehouse wise item then we can have 45 item and most of the Dhaka Bangladesh have additional 10 item previously it was 25 now we have uh, 35 so uh, you can manage your stock and uh, you can manage your warehouse and also you can transfer item one house to one warehouse to another warehouse also you can check uh, the stock by warehouse how many items you currently have and also the request you can request transfer one, one warehouse to another warehouse so this is the overall summary of new uh, update business ERP solution and uh, also we have just updated uh, UI and fixes the current bugs so this is the more uh, updated more uh, 
this is the latest updated version so this is the dashboard and uh, we have the pause module sales module purchase module and expense module and you can uh, create invoice using uh, branch wise so we have the added the branch module as well system settings thus you can add the drop down data and system data from here and uh, this system is a dynamic role management system you can uh, create role uh, and which is uh, uh, you can assign role using the when when you are going to create a new user you can assign role uh, by creating a new role so we have currently default two roles which is admin and general if i go to the admin role then we have access list admin user can access all the base in the system and general user can only access like this dashboard and uh, his profile only also the system is supported multi-language so if i select the english from arabic then it will automatically switch uh, from uh, english language to arabic and that maneuver is also dynamic it, it will dynamically move from left to right and if i go back to the english again then the menu is dynamically moved from left right to left so this is the core feature of this application we have uh, updated to dotnet 5 to dotnet 6 and uh, this version is more stable and uh, one uh, additional imp important feature we have added like uh, uh, like uh, notification real-time notification for real-time notification we have uh, I used uh, signaler so in the <coughs> warehouse module we have added so if you go to the warehouse notification just uh, give me the how it works I'm just going to create two new windows so this is the notification window I'm going to create So currently we have like 13 notification and if we going to add new item request then without page refresh without anything it will automatically add new notification that will be hopefully uh, serial number 14 so I'm going to create new request so just for selecting the random one and request quantity is uh, 200 and from warehouse uh, Berlin Germany and notice TBD save okay so request item uh, created successfully and if I go to the go to the transfer then you will notify some item has been transferred from one house one warehouse to another warehouse so transfer reason of transfer i'm just adding tvd transfer c so we have previously 13 uh, number 14 uh, row has been notification edits uh, real time without any <coughs> mouse click or without any action so you can um, get complete um, implementation of uh, signaler in the warehouse module so we have updated the latest code base and you can get enter code base uh, into the code canyon let me give you just link so that you can get the complete source code from here so here you can get the latest code base and uh, also you can check the live demo so here is the live update in this latest version 2.0.1 we have covered these uh, new changes so you can get the latest code uh, from here and we have host the live server you can check the live demo as well so here is the live uh, server just click the copy so that you can log in using as an admin user So I will share the login details also the where, where you can get the latest code base and uh, in the description. So we have uh, done the latest uh, update uh, business 
ERP solution so in this update we have cover complete uh, warehouse module you can uh, using this module you can transfer item smoothly also the single item and multiple item as well and uh, more importantly you can check the summary uh, the current uh, stock by warehouse so additionally in this uh, application you can uh, manage uh, user management system identity setting email configuration for smtp and also the listed report item report sales report purchase report expense report and other report so a lot of feature in this application we have covered so uh, if you are interested just go to the uh, code canyon and get the a latest put button if you have uh, more feedback and you if you are wanted to interest to add more feature or customize this customize this system then you are always most welcome to communicate to contact with us i will share my details in the description <coughs> so thank you see in the next video hopefully uh, this uh, new module will add a new advantage uh, and recover your uh, new ex cover <coughs> cover the warehouse module uh, very smoothly and uh, you can get the updated code from code canyon so thank you again uh, see you in the next video